Welcome to Tamar Bowling Video Ball Reviews. For great bowling products and services, check out our partner, Purit Pro Shop. Today, we are reviewing the new Storm Snap Lock. So let's get the technicals out of the way. The Snap Lock uses the same Rad X Core in the first lock with a 2.48 RG, 0.054 differential, and 0.018 intermediate differential for a 15 pound ball. In addition, Storm brings us a new R3S or third generation reactor Pearl reactive cover stock stateside. Our tester today is Sean Jensen, has about a 400 RPM rev rate, PAP of five and one half up, uh, very low axis tilt and medium axis rotation. We're using a medium volume 41 foot typical house shot. So first impressions, the snap lock looks like the real deal in terms of being a really strong ball. Man, does this thing move and cover some boards. I can see why Storm finally released it stateside. So I'll start with value. I give this ball an eight out of 10 in terms of value. The snap lock is in the premier line for Storm, so naturally it commands top dollar. And thus I have to be critical around the value proposition. This ball is going to help many strokers and tweeners who are looking for a strong ball with lots of motion. Crankers will get less use due to its strength. Therefore, it loses a bit of value in terms of versatility. In terms of the overall rating, I give this ball an 8.5 out of 10. So here's a scoop. The snap lock is an interesting offering from Storm, and I'll talk about why shortly. It's not a surprise for Storm to release a pearl version of the lock, but this ball has been out internationally for almost six months. And that's a bit unfortunate for us in the US as this is a great ball, but it's finally here. Basically, here's how I describe this ball reaction. You have a very rolly core, which gets itself into a roll no matter what. As a strong asymmetrical ball, it also has a defined motion down length. Now we've seen this core in a lock, so we knew what to expect. But now adding the pearl cover, you expect added length, more back end motion. And while that's true, everything seems to be magnified. So no doubt, there's a lot of back in it, as you can see in the video. However, don't expect this ball to go 50 feet. Uh, it's not going to skid a whole lot. The, score, the core is so rolly that it forces the ball to transition even through the pearl cover. So what that has done is, is really magnify the transition from hook to roll. It looks to be to have a very aggressive motion where ultimately you trust it to make the corner every time. There seems to be a, a kind of synergistic effect of combining the strong core with the added length of the cover, allowing for a sort of explosive motion. Now this motion is magnified additionally due to our tester's very end over end roll with little tilt. But with more tilt, it'll be a little bit more rounded down lane in terms of shape, but still strong. Sean is testing on a typical house shot, and as you can see, with a decent rev rate, this is just a lot of ball for house conditions. Due to what I mentioned previously, the ball did not want to naturally push to the outside as you would think a pearl shoot. Instead, it turned over early, which meant Sean had to adjust his launch angles, and sometimes forcing it down lane yields losing it to the outside, and it won't return from there. Misses inside will definitely not hold. This ball reminded us a lot of the hypercell skid in terms of the characteristics we just discussed. If you have a lower rev rate, you're certainly more likely to get more use out of this ball. And given its strength, it could be first ball out of the bag on a typical house shot. If you're starting to shortlist your arsenal for next season, the snap lock definitely merits some serious consideration. Thanks for watching Tamar Bowling Video Ball Reviews.